Okay, uh, Sir Dancer, I'm just calling you to let you know that I have officially been named president of the Progressive Democrat of Edgecombe County, not associated with the North Carolina Democratic Party, but we can get out there and do what we need to do in spite of, and you can continue to uh, kiss up on Wayne Goodwin. I don't have to answer to him. I'm not his boy, Dancer, but you, you will see we want him to be. The Progressive Democrats of Edgecombe County, not affiliated with the North Carolina Democratic Party, because I will never be associated as long as Wayne Goodwin is the chairman. And what's the shit?
Yes, uh, Comedians, I'll be doing an interview on WHID at uh, 8.15. So when they come off at uh, their commercial at 8.15, you should see my face. So Nancy, give me a call. Yes, uh, Nancy, I was received a phone call. Uh, I'm hearing that you may be uh, considering uh, pursuing the, uh, the chairmanship. Uh, I'll be uh, making some uh, recommendations, but I, I I don't want to necessarily hear from you on the matter. But I but I. I just don't believe that it's possible for you to pull it off. Uh, I'll be meeting with some people on Thursday, and I'll be uh, in the position to make a recommendation in about two weeks. But I, I just hope that you will make it uh, easier for the party to move forth uh, without without you uh, feeling that you have a ghost of a chance. Uh, give me a call if, if you feel like you need to talk to him. I think I could tell you more reasons why you shouldn't uh, pursue it, more so than I could tell you why. Uh, you, 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 I can tell you more reason why you shouldn't pursue it, more so than reason why you should pursue it. I, I just don't think it's, it's doable. And I hate to see you uh, get out there and, and, and get embarrassed, particularly with all the energy that Wayne Goodwin and them used of uh, you uh, to think that they got me removed from something that they thought made a difference. Give me a call if you think we need to, but I, I don't I don't know. I don't know any way I can help you in that uh, in that area, but anyway, if you think I can, give me a call. But it, it, it's beyond my imagination. Yes, uh, Dancy, I was received a phone call. Uh, I'm hearing that you may be uh, considering uh, pursuing the uh, the chairmanship. Uh, I'll be uh, making some uh, recommendations, but I, I I don't want to necessarily hear from you on the matter. But I but I I just don't believe that it's possible for you to pull it off. Uh, I'll be meeting with some people on Thursday, and I'll be uh, in the position to make a recommendation in about two weeks. But I, I just hope that you will make it uh, easier for the party to move forth uh, without without you uh, feeling that you have a ghost of a chance. Uh, give me a call if, if you feel like you need to talk to him. I think I could tell you more reasons why you shouldn't uh, pursue it more so than I could tell you why, uh, you, 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 I can tell you more reason why you shouldn't pursue it, more so than reason why you should pursue it. I, I just don't think it's, it's doable, and I hate to see you uh, get out there and, and, and get embarrassed, particularly with all the energy that Wayne Goodwin and them used of uh, you, uh, to think that they got me removed from something that they thought made a difference. Give me a call if you think we need to, but I, I don't I don't know I don't know any way I can help you in that uh, in that area. But anyway, if you think I can, give me a call. But it's it, it's beyond my imagination. What you just heard was a bona fide fool. Reverend Roosevelt Higgs, he called me on 612 at 63, 6.53 a.m. Um, he called me on 612 at 9.03 p.m. 
He called me on 613, the day of the hearing, at 1207 p.m. Then he called back again at 553, uh, right after the hearing was over. Then he called back again on 613 um, at 959. Then he called back again on 614. 3.57 a.m. in the morning. Yes, correct. 6.14, 3.57 a.m. That's Saturday night, Sunday morning. This fool ain't got nothing to do but wake up and call my cell phone. And then he called again at 7.25 on Sunday morning. Then he called again today at 8.12 a.m. And then he called again at 11.24 a.m. This guy needs to get a life. But as I stated, I will be taking out papers on him. Because I ain't got time to deal with this grown man. It's just sad. So after tomorrow, um, the call should stop. But uh, yes, it's it's just it's he's sickening. Dude needs to get some help, and I think I'm gonna be the one that need to uh, put things in motion so he can get some help. And for anyone that uh, after hearing the conversation, it has not been my intentions to. Uh, run for the chair position to try to get the appointment because everybody knows me know I don't like titles and um, I, That's far from being um, A title that I want Because I do not like to be limited to what I can say and do and Being the chair of the party. I would not be able to uh, Support an individual candidate. So Nah, not for me uh, um but um, I did post that I hope we can get a young person to come in and uh, move us forward. We need some young leadership. So that's going to be my, um, my goal. And um, I just work in the capacity I am as a precinct chair. So anyway, you all heard it. You got you another good laugh for the day. This guy is off the chain. But a change is coming. It has come. Because he's no longer chair of the Edgecombe County Democratic Party. And cannot serve on the local, state, or national level. And at the rate he's going, it should be forever. Uh, keeping in mind that several years ago, dude uh, voted twice. And um, spent jail time. Because he became a convicted felon for vote twice. Uh, Governor Hunt restored his uh, citizenship some years ago. So this guy has a history of, uh, of stupidness. But uh, it's going to end here. I did give him a little leniency um, to call and leave a message when he was the chair. But I told him after the... Um, during the time of the convention when he said he refused to participate and cooperate that he really didn't need to call me anymore because he was not a part of the party and I really didn't want him to call me when he was a part of the party because we didn't have anything to talk about but I had to acknowledge him in some kind of way and I did that by just letting him leave a message but as it stands now we have no need for communication um, he needs to stay on the Nash County side where he live at. Been living for the last uh, about two and a half, three years. Um, and just leave us alone in Edgecombe County. Maybe he'll get involved over there somehow. Um, in some kind of capacity. So you all have a good day. And uh, I'll get back with you after I file the papers on tomorrow. Thank you.